So how does an iMac from 2013 perform in 2022? Let me just show you. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. So if you watch my channel, you realize that I just bought a 21 and a half inch late 2013 iMac over here for 148 bucks, 148 bucks. Watch my previous video, it's, I'll show you a picture of it right here. It was just put out maybe a couple days ago. It's gonna show you the quality I got of a system, how beautiful the system is for 148 bucks. But this video is more about the performance. So we're gonna talk about how does this perform in 2022. This is basically nine, nine going on 10 years old. It's the late 2013. So obviously, what are the specs on it? I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple different things. I'm gonna show you basically speed tests on the hard drive. I'm gonna show you how applications load and things like that. And then stay tuned, I'm gonna show you some video tests, basically rendering video in 1080p and in 4K. I'll prove it to you, I'll show you that they are, and you'll be pretty shocked on how good this thing can still work. The one caveat is you can't really upload, I mean, I'm basically at Catalina right now, and there's some issues with that, which I'll get into in a second. But beyond that, it's pretty easy, so let's get into the video, and we'll show you everything about this. I'll have little marks in my description in the video if you wanna skip ahead to different areas, just so you can get to like the speed tests and stuff. So check that out as well. Let's get into it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just share my screen here. So if you look over at my screen, I'm running, this system's a late, again, late 2013 iMac, 21 and a half inch. It's got a 2.7 gigahertz processor, i5, 4570R. Turbo boost up to 3.2. Mine comes with eight gigs of RAM, so just keep that in mind. I'm only running eight gigs of RAM on this. It can go up to 16. 1600 megahertz RAM on this, DDR3 only, so it's PC3 2800. And then um, I think for the video card down here, it's an Iris Pro 5200, you can see it right here. And uh, so that's basically what it's gonna be running. Mine was updated with an SSD drive though, and that SSD drive basically is, I think it was put in by somebody else, and we'll, uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, a lot of times these places, um, I got my system actually, let me just tell you where I got my system from, iCell iMacs. I'll show a picture of where I got it from right here. And, uh, and then I'm gonna show you my listing just to prove it one more time that I got this for 148 bucks. So without further ado, take a look at that listing right there. 148 bucks, and it's a great company. But again, I don't know if they've replaced this with an SSD drive, took out the other drive. I have no idea how they do it. So I'm not even checking into that. So I'm not gonna even get into that. A um, Couple different things, and I just wanted to show you. The one caveat to this is if you look at my screen, this can only run, here's the late 2013, this top one over here. And it looks like, let me just see here, it can run Catalina. Actually, that's the 27 inch. The 21 is down here, but the same thing. It says it can only run Catalina. There's videos on here that you can upgrade it even higher, but it gets into some special things and I'm not gonna deal with that in this video. So what we're gonna do again is we're gonna go through all those different tests in this video. So let's get into it really quickly. All right, number one, what's the load time of this thing? So if I Turn the system off and load it up. A lot of these new systems, especially with a spin or a, a non-hard, you know, non-SSD drive, just a normal hard drive, take forever, right? So I'm gonna clip this, I'm gonna kinda scoot it ahead so you don't have to wait the whole time and then give you the time. How long does this thing take to boot? Number one. All right, you could see it, 21 seconds only. That's pretty amazing, 2013. Try that on a, even any even a modern Mac that has a, just a normal hard drive, not an SSD drive. So the SSD drive is the key when buying these older systems, no matter what. So always look for the SSD drive, number one. All right, let's go back to the screen over here. I just wanna show you, so if you were to buy this thing, what kind of performance can you expect? You can see my mouse here. So let's just go ahead and open up Safari, watch this. I'm gonna click on it. I mean, it literally bounced one time down here, you can see it and uh, it opens up basically instantaneous. Now I'm gonna go to uh, YouTube, that's another big thing. So look at my screen, and YouTube comes up, watch how fast this it's loading. Obviously a lot of this has to do with your internet connection and things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the volume just really quickly like this, just so we don't hear things. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on a video. This one happens to be 4K, so I mean, again, we're gonna probably get an ad here, which I'm gonna skip through, so I'm just gonna kinda talk to you while the ad's running. And we're gonna click off the ad. But you can see that if it wants to run 
you know, any type of video, look at my screen. It's basically going to be perfectly fluid, perfectly, you know, it's beautiful, the colors, everything. This is a great screen and uh, you get no stuttering. And this is actually trying to run a video that's 4K, although this is only 1080p, it can't do it. But look at this vibrancy in this system. Look how fast things load. You know, again, if I click on another video, it just loads instantly. Nine or 10 years old, did you get this with a nine or 10 year old computer anywhere else? No, so, I mean, the browsers are perfect. So if you want this for just basic browsing, YouTube watching, um, you know, you wanna go full screen like this and just watch the whole thing, uh, movie from your, your couch or something, perfect. You can have no problems there. So we're gonna go ahead and shut down Safari. Um, let's go back over here. So other things that you wanna show really quickly is just, um, you know, let me just pick up pages, for instance. I click on it one second bounce, and then we can do a new document. So if you're into just creating documents and things like that, resumes and stuff, I mean, it's gonna have a little bit of time here thinking about this template. So that's maybe the first, a little bit of a hiccup, but what was it, three seconds? And there you go. Everything in here is super fluid. I've tested it out. Not, there's no problems in pages. Everything works perfectly. And you can see how fast things load. If I go to numbers down here, see my cursor? I'm gonna click on it, one bounce, there it is. And again, these are new documents, so, um, you know, if I want to bring up a blank data, you know, database, look how quick that is. You can, you know, go through and add all the numbers you want to add and everything just works perfectly. So numbers, pages, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and just actually click on this again and we're going to shut this down. Um, click delete. And actually, before I actually do that, let me see. Well, actually, I did shut down pages, so we're all we're all set there. Things like you know, basic notes and stuff. I'm just click on notes. One bounce opens up. So just want to show you the fluid, you know, how fluid everything is here. It's just pretty amazing when you think about it. A system this old. So overall, the experience is incredible. Um, you know, and if you click on all your apps, all your apps are in here. Now, when you get one of these older systems, you got to keep in mind that it is a little bit tricky to upgrade going from the old OS all the way up to Mojave, but there's tons of tutorials on that. Plus to get all your modern apps back, you gotta do some special things. This is not what this video is about. So we're just gonna keep going through this. The next thing I wanna show you is the hard drive on this thing. Again, 2013, it could have been upgraded from the person I bought it from. It doesn't really matter, but you wanna get one with an SSD. So if I go into here, actually, there's an application. Let me just get to it. It's called Black Magic. I'm gonna click on it. So it's gonna bounce there, and here it is. So I'm gonna click on this, select the target drive. It should be on the target drive it is, because this is the only drive right now I have. I do have a, actually I have an external one hooked up, but uh, it's not connected to that. So let's go ahead and just run this. It's not the fastest, but you can see how it doesn't need to be. Let's just see how fast it is. So I'm gonna click on it. Look at this, it looks like the, the rights are 489, somewhere in that range. I mean, four, it's gonna go down a little bit now, but it got up to about 489. Um, and now it's doing like a test and going back down. So, but I mean, anywhere from 400 to 489. And then look at the reads. It gets all the way up to like five, over 500. So you're dealing with over 500. And then it's going to come back down a little bit. So pretty amazing for a system this old. This is as fast as you need and you're going to get everything you need out of it, trust me. So that's how fast the disk is. And that's, you know, very, you know, easy to kind of just show people what you're looking for. Three to four hundred and read and writes and you're gonna have a system as snappy. It's really that snappy as far as how, you know, compared to like even the newest ones, I can't tell the difference. I really can't. All right, so the next test is gonna be, now this is gonna be where it's, I'm gonna do a video coming up. So subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff. I'm gonna do a video where this, I compare this 2013 against an M1 MacBook. The one right here actually, the M1 Air. But that's not in this video. I want to show you a couple things. I have, if you look at my screen over here, I got two folders. One's 1080p video, and this video on the 1080p, I'm just going to show you if I click Get Info. All these files here are going to be 920 by 1080. It's H.264, so not easy stuff to really work with. And then I have a 4K folder over here, and I'm going to click on it. And you can see over here, if I click on this, I didn't mean to do that. If I click on it and then right-click and click Get Info, these are actually 3840 by 2160, so 4K, and again, AACH.264, so not easy to work with either. This is a 2013, 148 bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and open up iMovie, I'm down here, and let's go ahead and open that up really quickly. I got them right here, I've already created them, and what I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm gonna go ahead, let me just open up the 1080p first. So this is the 1080p one, you can see it basically, the scrubbing here. So the 1080p here is, I mean, first of all, look at the scrubbing on this. It's pretty amazing. I mean, it, it is amazing, actually. I mean, it, there's, I mean, if I, I'm using my mouse, but I mean, you can see that there's no stuttering. It's super fast. I can scroll over it so fast. Nothing gets stuck. You can see this is a pretty basic edit. I have some sound files, multiple layers of 1080p 
couple transitions and a couple little titles and stuff. But look at the, the responsiveness of just on the timeline, right? That's pretty amazing. We're gonna run this in a second and show you the render time as well, so hold on. But before I do that, let me go back to the 4K sample. So this is all 4K video right now. So that this is the, the 4K video inside of here. I didn't make it smaller or do anything with it. And look at down here. Again, look at over here on my screen. You can see that nothing is stuttering. Nothing is actually hanging up. So it's on the timeline, it's, it's totally able to render, not render, but just you know scrub through 4K video. I mean, look at this. And it doesn't even do it like, not even that good. It's great, actually. There's no stuttering. It does the transitions really easily. Even, you know, the titles and stuff. You can see the transition here. If I click the keyboard, it's going to do the transition up there perfectly fine. Actually, it did, it did hang up a little bit on the transition. If you go over like this, it doesn't, but it does it a little bit there. But you can see the difference. That's 4K. So I'm going to shut off the video thing just because I don't want it to interfere with the time process here because I'm recording my screen. So I'm going to take shot that off. Then I'll come right back and show you guys the times. All right, so we're back and what do we get? Now, before I actually even show you the results, I wanna show you that both of these videos, if you look at my screen, this is just this, the 4K one. It's four, they're about four minutes each. So this is a 4K one here, four minutes. You can see the total length. 1080p is gonna be, again, 358, about four minutes. So here's the results, it's pretty crazy. So four minute 1080p video to render it, I basically did quality high, and then compression was actually high too, or it was good, compression good, quality high. Took two minutes exactly, two minutes, do you believe that? So half the time of the video. So 1080p, it's perfect, super easy to do 1080p editing on this. It's half the time. Now the 4K is a little bit different, but it's still really good. So 4K, a four minute video in 4K. Quality, I did high compression. Um, I'm sorry, I did quality high, but the compression I did faster, uh, just because I figured, you know, I'm gonna give it every chance it can get to do 4K. Came back at seven minutes and 50 seconds, so not even twice as much, so four minute clip, seven minutes and 50 seconds. 2013, you can see how it can scrub through that. Everything works perfectly. It's, it's actually pretty amazing at this time that you can get that kind of quality on a 2013 doing video editing like this. All right, so I had to wrap this video up. I mean, I'm gonna do something like this where I compare it against the M1 just to see how fast the difference is. I mean, this is actually really fast. I'm, actually, I'm pretty shocked by it, believe it or not. So what are some of the disadvantages of buying this just really quickly? It's gonna be the OS. Obviously, it's not compatible. It's 1080p screen, but you can see that it looks better than almost most, most 1080p screens out there by far just because of the glossiness of it and things, just the saturation of the colors. Very good system to have on there as well. Um, you know, and I mean, overall, it's a 148 bucks here in 2022. So do I recommend it? I mean, do I recommend buying a system nine years old? Maybe not, but if you know what you're doing, you like dabbling in this kind of stuff, and this is something that you're kind of a hobby, you know, it's just basically a hobby for you. I mean, you can see that it doesn't even need to really be a hobby, but you need to know enough to get into this state, and it'll work perfectly for the family, perfectly for videos. You can stream TV on this if you want, if you have like a Comcast connection or something where you can go through the internet. Internet works great on it. And then video editing. Video editing is just huge. So overall, it's it's actually you know one of the best systems for 2013 that I can think of. You guys tell me if you can find a better system out there. So we'll wrap this video up. I don't want it to go too long. Um, again, if you just subscribe to my channel, I do a couple of videos here and there. I'm going to be doing a couple you know smart watches and stuff. But overall, I do a lot of Apple stuff mostly. And you know, at the end of the day, this is something that I totally recommend. If you know what you're doing with it, you can buy these. You can find a good quality unit from a good supplier. That's the, you know, that's the unknown. You never know what you're going to get, right? But overall, I recommend it if you just know what you're doing. And, I mean, is it the best idea when you can pick, go ahead and pick up an M1 you know, MacBook Air like this for in the 800s? No, but if but if you you know you saw the performance, you saw what it can do, you see the screen, you see this performance of speed, why not, right? 148 bucks is as much as an Apple Pencil. We'll wrap it up. Let me know if you guys like these videos, and we'll talk to everybody in the next. Check out my channel. I have over five, I think four or five hundred videos now, mostly Apple as well. So check those previous ones out. Peace.